Hey everyone, so it's day eight of Camp NaNoWriMo and just a quick update. I am still at the 10,000-ish word count for Camp NaNoWriMo. I haven't uh, written in the past 24 hours, but um, I've been doing a lot of research still um, and re-listening to the audiobook of The Body Keeps the Score. And I actually have it right now on my other phone right here. And I'm actually listening to it and writing down notes. Um, and seeing how I can incorporate some of that uh, into the Copper Phoenix uh, story. So one quick note, um, if you get a chance, please go to the International Immersions podcast on Spotify or Anchor and um, listen to the latest episode. It is on anti-Asian hate crimes and xenophobia, and it was a recording that was done last week. On the podcast are... Um, April Doucette, <laughs> Jolene Jang, Lynn Thomas, and myself. And uh, we talk about what's going on in the uh, US right now with all of the anti-Asian hate crimes. Um, and we talk about what you can do to help stand up for the AAPI community. It's a very powerful uh, episode and I do hope you take a chance, uh, get a chance to listen to it and share it with everyone that you know. And please reach out to your Asian American friends and see how they're doing because uh, most of them will probably be hurting and just wanting to talk to someone about it. Um, anyways, uh, one other thing I want to say is shout out to my NaNoWriMo buddies. So Matthew Kaur, uh, I think you hit 10,000 words on um, the sequel to Land on Me, which yay, that's amazing because um, it's not easy to write sometimes and come up with new content and dialogue and, and story twists and all that stuff. So, um, and I think Jennifer McMurrin and also Barbara Shepard, my two other NaNoWriMo buddies are right around that mark as well. So we are kicking butt with the word count and right on target. Um, I can't wait till this is all done though. <laughs> I can't wait until the book is done and uh, we get to publish it and uh, send it out into the world. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say for now. We'll keep it uh, short and sweet. Have a great day, everyone, and thank you. God bless.